about bringing your best self to the table every single day. So we talked earlier about what you always have in your back pocket and what's your jam, right? I want you to remember that and cherish that. It's always good to work on things that you need to work on, of course. We all need to continue to get better, but never forget what you're good at and focus on that and celebrate that. Well, I love being able to work with young people. I think that I have had a very fortunate career in terms of being surrounded by quality coaches and having really inspiring um, older players to look up to and mentors. And um, from a very young age, I knew that I either wanted to be a teacher or a coach when I got older. So I love coming back. This is my uh, high school here at East Brunswick High School. So it's always so cool for me to come back to some of my uh, places that I grew up in, my roots, and to hopefully inspire the next generation. You know, I can't play forever. And this next generation of players um, has to take over. And I think the future is so bright and it's very exciting. I think it's so important to, to develop these young players because they have a lot of pressures on them, whether in school or at home or socially, but hopefully we can come here together, enjoy ourselves, um, and take home some of the lessons that sports can teach you. You know, I always talk about working hard. I always talk about being a good teammate and having a good attitude, all the things that you can control. And uh, when it's a choice, it should be an easy one to make. And I think all those qualities are really what helped me in my career. And hopefully I'm instilling that in some of these young players. I think some of my best qualities are uh, my confidence in myself and um, you know I always try to encourage the girls to be yourself and I think that's important. In today's world there's a lot of sort of comparing going on, especially on social media and um, with some other uh, influences in these young, young people's lives. But I'm here to just kind of tell them to be yourself and there's something so cool and special about uh, the qualities that you own and that you bring. and. Uh, you know, like in, in soccer, for instance, I can't head the ball like Abby Wambach, but I do a lot of things that Abby can't do either, and I'm proud of that. So I think it's all about, you know, figuring out how, uh, how you work and what makes you special and what makes you unique and bring that every single day. And that goes for soccer and that goes outside soccer as well. So hopefully I'm empowering these uh, young girls to uh, have a lot of faith in themselves and a lot of confidence in what they do that's different from anybody else. I think for the most part, I've had very positive people in my life. I think that it's important, especially when you're younger, to separate yourself um, by others. And what I mean by that is sort of um, surrounding yourself with positive people. I think in today's world, there's uh, people that are a lot of times eager to, to pull you down. Maybe it's because they're jealous of your successes or, or you're doing something that they couldn't do. So um, it's easy to sort of get into a, a negative circle, but I'm, you know, hopefully here to tell these young people, surround yourself with people that want to boost you up, that want you to succeed, you know? And I think that at certain times in my life, I sort of gave into the peer pressures of, uh, you know, I was, I was sort of embarrassed about succeeding. I was embarrassed about being successful and, and doing well in soccer. And, you know, obviously I got through that feeling and rose above that feeling, but I never want these young girls to feel embarrassed about being good at something or uh, or feel scared about succeeding because it's something that's amazing and should be celebrated. Well, of course, I, I hope that um, all my on the field accolades are, uh, you know, remembered and people will remember the energy and the passion and the intensity and the game face that I brought in. And obviously, in addition to all the the, uh, the victories and awards won along the way, but I hope that people most remember um, you know, how I impact people, how I make them feel about themselves, how I make these young people feel about themselves, how I make them feel confident, how I make, you know, it cool to work hard again. You know, I think that we, our society is one sometimes where, you know, people want to bring you down if you're working hard at something and trying something. And, and I'm here to tell them that it's, it's cool to work hard. So I think that hopefully that's my legacy. It's one of energy. It's one of positivity. Uh, it's one of work ethic and uh, hopefully for generations to come, these girls are bringing it. I think my purpose is to inspire. I think that I'm a connector. You know, I connected the generation of Mia Hamm to the generation of Alex Morgan. And, you know, on the women's national team, I'm proud that we carried that torch. And, you know, they won in 99, and, you know, I was able to carry the torch to us winning in 2015. So hopefully I, you know, embodied um, all those qualities on the women's national team, and, you know, those qualities will continue on 
forever and ever. And, and girls out there will, will forever see those sort of things and be proud and bring that to their everyday life.